coming. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. So a couple of weeks ago when we asked you guys what other kind of videos you'd like to see from us aside from food and travel on our YouTube community page and on Instagram, a lot of you very surprisingly said a day, a day in the life vlogs. <laughs> we think our lives are pretty boring, but you want to see it. So no better time for us to shoot one, especially right now that we're in um, lockdown. Level three here lockdown in Auckland. In Auckland so. <laughs> I'm going to go brush my teeth, get ready for the day, and we're just going to show you a glimpse of what our life is like when we're not vlogging. Yeah, typically I wake up in the morning and Disperse. spend quite a lot of time reading and I'll get an up and go ready for Yen for when she wakes up. I have been drinking this for like as long as my adult life can remember. <laughs> it's my only breakfast. It usually lasts me till well past the morning. And uh, so Yen's gonna get ready now and I'm gonna grab some breakfast for myself. Morning Cho Cho. Morning boy. Oh look at you. You're so cute. Look how fluffy you are. It's now time for Yen and I to do our daily workout routine. <laughs> yeah, Peter's the fitness freak between us two. I got a little bit slack last year, but I have picked it up again at the start of this year. Yes, she has. Uh, we used to go to the gym like three or four times a week, but because we've been traveling a lot, uh, we've changed our routine now to do more body weight kind of workouts so that we don't require any equipment. Yeah, and lately Peter's actually been following my workouts that I've been doing. So we'll show you a little bit of that today. Let's get started. Lean back slightly while engaging your core with your knees. So I've been enjoying doing all of Yin's <laughs> random exercises because there's a lot of variety in them. And uh, variety is good for exercising because it makes sure that you're working out muscle groups that you never even knew that you had before. <laughs> I've been following Chloe Ting. We're almost there guys, you can do it. She's really good at motivating. <laughs> And just like that, we are done for the first set of our workout. One more to go. Yeah, we normally do two sets and it's a really good workout. You really do get pretty sweaty in here. <laughs> I sometimes do three, but I also tend to not do as hard as Pete. <laughs> yeah, nice. Should we get into the next one? And that's the workout guys. I hope you're feeling it in your glutes and your legs. And that is the end of the workout, as you can see, very sweaty. Very sweaty indeed. That was a great one, nice job finishing Thank that. You. So typically at about this point, uh, Yen and I go off and um, do some random things of our own. Yeah, I like to do some brain exercises after I've done body workout exercises. Yeah, and uh, this year for 2021, I had a New Year's resolution. I'm really bad at playing instruments, musically challenged. So this year I thought I'd challenge myself with uh, playing the ukulele. Uh, my goal is to learn two songs, so I do some practice every day. Yeah, it's been going pretty well, I think. Below average. <laughs> <laughs> but let's catch up on those things now. Yes. I've been practicing this thing since about January, so it's only one and a half months. I've been trying to play Over the Rainbow. by the end of the year I'll be able to play over the rainbow completely and be able to sing even though it's gonna be bad singing still sing with this playing as well so yeah <laughs> So the two brain exercise apps that I like to use and I always use after exercise is called MindPal for the first one and Elevate for the second one. So there are a bunch of mini games and stuff to test you on like your attention to detail, your memory recall, um, it helps with your English, your math, all of these things and it's all made into like a fun game so I quite enjoy that as my like cool down after working out.
showered and now I think it's time for some lunch. I've been on a bit of a Vogels and Marmite binge since we did the um, New Zealand snacks episode. So I'm just gonna toast some up now. Sunday love she's just the coolest yeah we met her in Japan last year yeah back in January she's an amazing YouTube amazing lady check out her channel if you haven't seen it yet definitely we'll put a link in the description as well when we don't go out um, normally we just have a pretty mm. light lunch so we've just got the Marmite and Vogel's bread the Vogel's bread is very dense so mm. keeps you full for quite a while Sitting here after lunch doing some editing, I need to try and get my part of it done within the next day and a half so that Yin can then do the rest of her part, uh, which she does like the nice finer touches and all the pretty details and stuff. I just cut and slice things into order. Um, other days, sometimes I'll be doing um, stuff to do with our retirement. So I might do some spreadsheeting, looking at um, investments and things like that. But that's generally how I divide my times during the day. So I'll be here probably until dinner time or until I want to go for a walk with uh, Chocho. And a lot of my day goes into replying all you guys' messages, <laughs> doing some social posts to our Instagram and Facebook. And right now I'm also going to work on one of our thumbnails for the next video. Whenever I am back at my parents' house, I do like to take Jojo for a walk. Mum's joined me today. Hello. And here's our little fella over here. That's Jojo, hey boy. Yeah, so this is just the local park where we normally go. And uh, even in level three lockdown, uh, going for these walks is still all good as long as you try and avoid other people and stay within your bubble. favorite regular meals that we have in my family is hot pot. It is the best. Mum and dad know how to make an amazing hot pot they spread. Sure do. The first thing of course you need to do is prepare your sauce. I got myself some coriander right here. Grab a very generous bundle. And then mum and dad always like to go and get very good spread of all these hot pot dipping sauces. There's four different flavors. I just don't, I really don't know what any of these are, but I just chuck in a little Eat bit them of all each in. of them. <laughs> Lamb and hot pot is the perfect combination. You see how there's these nice streaks of fat throughout all that lamb? That's going to be the good flavoring. Oh, I'm salivating. <laughs> Yen's been talking about this hot pot all evening. <laughs> that coriander sauce in there. Mm. Oh, mm. yeah, mum and dad's hot pot, can't beat it. The best. It is the best. The lamb is beautiful. It's got a perfect amount of ratio between the chewiness and then the fattiness. So part of it is melting in your mouth while the other part of it is getting squished in between your teeth. So it just creates the most wonderful sensation, the hot pot lamb sensation. I'm still salivating as I'm biting into it because I want to eat more. And so usually we go through an entire box of the lamb right first before we dig into anything else. But yeah, I'm gonna get Yen over to eat because uh, I can see her salivating behind the camera too. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. I have got one of my favorites and one of dad's favorites, the Spam. so yum. It's all like um, salty and squishy and just spammy goodness. But yeah, the Chinese version, I don't know, how is it different to the Western one? I, I have no idea. It's 
taste slightly different. They do taste slightly different, but I can't pinpoint what it is. Both are delicious though. <laughs> this is my favorite when I have a steam bowl. This is a bean curd. It's a, when you're dipping with the sauce, it's a chewy and a salty, and they have a different uh, taste when you cook with other things. Mmm, yum. Okay, <laughs> Got myself one of these. This is Xiang Gu Bao. It's my other favorite, and Mum really likes this one too. It's um, like a fish paste on the outside, and then it's got minced mushrooms on the inside. And with like every item in here, gotta dip it in that sauce. Mmm, yum. Mushroomy goodness. The other meat group that we've got for our hot pot is the seafood. I've got myself a little scallop that I've been heating up in there and well, that's that. <laughs> beautiful it's sweet and now because of the sauce it's also salty <laughs> and spicy with a little touch of coriander perfect combo yeah perfect combo just an absolutely epic meal every single time very happy very very happy <laughs> should we smash the rest of this dinner down yeah let's uh, finish this dinner off and see you guys later <laughs> Yen and I just watched Queen's Gambit a little <laughs> while ago and since then we've been super into our chess. We have and the score is pretty close but I think Peter with that game has just overtaken me home. It's 19-18 right now. With two draws but don't worry I will get that win back eventually. <laughs> They've been pretty intense games as well. I think we're pretty even in terms of our uh, school. Or like average school. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time for one of our favorite parts of the week. Yes! Attack on Titan! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look over there. What? <laughs> oh, got your name. <laughs> I should have known that was coming. What an episode, Attack on Titan, one of the best animes that we've ever seen. Love it's the it. final season right now. Oh, I wish it would just go on for ages. Any other anime lovers out there? <laughs> Yeah, if you guys have enjoyed following our day in the life of Yena and myself, then uh, <laughs> don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, drop us a comment. We do love hearing from you. And please help share our vlogs if you enjoy them too. All that stuff helps our channel, so we super appreciate it. If you want to see more of this kind of content, let us know because, you know... We're not sure, but really yeah, if you guys sure. like it, then that's all good. We can make some more as well. So <laughs> until then, catch you guys next time. See ya. See ya.